Hello Aces, welcome back to module two, lesson 6.2, Menu Design Hacks. In this lesson, what you're gonna be learning are the six tips and strategies to get your customers to spend more at your restaurant, thus making you more profitable. Let's dive right in guys. Tip number one, remove leader dots that lead to the price. Those are the dots that when you have your menu item, dot, 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 price completely irrelevant right here because when people are coming to your restaurant they're going to order regardless so you wasting space you actually leading them to see the price is irrelevant we want to be able to focus on the description we want to focus on what is it that they're going to be eating not so much the price that can be like a very subtle number that you can put on the side your job is to sell them on what they should be ordering. Your job is to sell them with mouth-watering description of this truffle meatball spaghetti, and that's the focus. That's the reason why removing that leading dots would actually allow them to focus on what is it on hand, which is the menu item. Second is to input decoys. We talked about the shooting star in our previous lesson. What are shooting stars? These are items that are not really meant to be selling. They're items not really meant for you to be profitable with it either. So for example, for us, we have a $50 ice cream. Who the hell is gonna buy a $50 ice cream with gold flakes and caviar? Not many people. However, because of the fact that we have this decoy, we input it on there, everything else in relation makes this item much more affordable and that's exactly why you should have a decoy within your menu item so imagine just having an 80 dollar pizza that's outrageous and put a normal pizza which is a cash cow for you for 30 dollars next to it and people will think it's a steal and even then 30 dollars for a pizza that's on the steeper end however when you compare 80 with 30 which one will you choose you choose the 30 one and that's exactly what a lot of restaurants are doing. You see, this steak is $64, whereas these are 24, 30, 23, 25, 22, 23, 21, 28, 25. You can see clearly this is a decoy. Menu hack three, organize your menu like a magazine. Magazines are designed to sell and people spend millions of dollars designing this, which is the reason why you ne definitely need to create it like a magazine and did you know that a lot of people actually look into the top right of the menu first before they read the menu that's the first thing that catches their eyes the top right of the menu and that's the reason why that estate is super expensive for you it should be you should be putting all your stars in this area the highly profitable highly popular item menu put it on your top right hand side of your menu and that's how you're going to be able to maximize the number of orders for that specific order you don't want people to order stuff that's like low margins for you you want people to order stuff that is high margins for you which is the reason why keep them on the top right hand corners Many design hack number four, less is more guys. I know for a fact that you have a lot of offerings that you are very creative and that you're very resourceful. But at the end of the day, we as consumers, we don't want that many choices. If we have so many choices, it actually paralyzes us because it was just overwhelmed with information, which is the reason why you just need to be able to have a few items in your menu items that are profitable for you and that gets the job done for your customers. Otherwise, like I said, your, your overall customers picks the cheapest and most familiar items. They don't really bother learning through everything because they're just like, you know what, I'm so confused. You know what, let's just order that easy one that we, we, we always order, right? <clears throat> give you another example is that a market vendor that I consult with, they used to have 30 different um, flavors for, of jelly. Now that they cut it into the six best sellers, their sales increase more than 30%, which is insane. Given the fact that they do much less work, much less items to bring in here, much less wastage and spoilage, they don't have to create that many flavors. And on top of that, they make more money. How crazy is that? Select your stars and your cash cows that your customers would hire to get their job done, as I was saying. If you are to cut off menu items, cut off the ones that are not making money for you. Cut off the ones that are not job to be done or not as big of a job to be done. Really focus down on the items that make a difference. 
beautiful design. Menu hack number five, bundles and add-ons. This is one of the, by far, the greatest trick that there is. Add a side column, add-ons as an upsell. Super, super important. And at the end of the day, this can uplift your restaurant revenue by more than 20 to 30%. Crazy. Just imagine just people, and on top of that, when you're talking about add-ons and bundles, make sure that it's below $10. Make it a no-brainer for your customers to add those on. Four or five bucks, you know what, a side of this, a side of that. Sure, you know what, let's add it in. Sure, you know what, let's just add it in. It just seems like, hey, it's the thing to do. And before you know it, you already increased the average order value by 30%. That's more profits for you. Just think about McDonald's once again. I love to use McDonald's as an example because they are a world wide company and on top of that they do such a good job they spend millions of dollars doing these studies and that's the reason why i want to be able to learn from the best and to be able to teach you the best mcdonald's fries let's make it a combo supersize this that itself made them more than 10 percent uplift in revenue guys 10 percent is a lot of money for mcdonald's just imagine one mcdonald's typically we're talking about five million dollars per year 10% of that is because of the super size, because of the combo. Just that's the reason why having bundles and add-ons are so crucial for you to be profitable. As you can see right here, that's a fabulous job of the addition, adding $2 for a toast, $2.250 for sausage, bacon, mushroom. This is a no-brainer. If I feel like avocado, I'll order it. If I feel like Mushrooms, I'll order it because it is a no-brainer. Make it no-brainer for your customers. Menu selling, okay? This is something that a lot of restaurants overlook. When you have a menu item there, it's not just to, to tell your customers what you have to offer. You're having this menu as an opportunity to sell to your customers. So use this opportunity because your customers are reading this thing, reading this whole menu, you're getting their attention. Therefore, you should sell them, right? That's why you, you must sell your most profitable items on there. Make sure that you paint a really vivid picture in your customer's eyes. So then when they're reading it, they're already anticipating, they're already, wow, this sounds so good. That's how you're gonna be able to sell your customers on these cash cows, on these stars. Make it, make the description descriptive, okay? Make them wait for their meals, especially because the experience is much more enjoyable for them. On that note, don't make them wait for too long. Just a little bit enough that, ooh, or is it coming yet? And then you serve it to them. 10, 15 minute range is a really good sweet spot that we're looking at because it's like, ooh, it gives me some time to talk. It makes me some time to like look around me to be, to be like, oh, wow, they have a great dish. Oh, wow, they have another great dish. Where's mine? But not in a way that's gonna upset your customers, but in a way that is reasonable. That itself builds that excitement, builds that, ooh, anticipation. And that's what really gets your customers to talk about your dish and makes it even extra better when they're consuming it, okay? These are just hidden psychological ideas and strategies that I'm sharing with you. I really hope that you can actually use this in your menu design. Now it is your turn to design your menu so then that way your customers will buy more from you. Next up, we're gonna be talking about how do you create your value proposition that will clearly speak to your target customers. We've done all the groundwork already now is the time to communicate this to your customers. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.